Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Rhino, Alicia, uh, I'm going to put this out there. I'm going to update this. I'm going to upload this video soonish. And you guys get to help pick her nickname. What do you think your nickname should be? You know what happens when people leave us to pick a nickname, right? From Germany! From Germany is this beer. This is original Bitter Guts Goza. Das Original Sit 1824. So it's a Goza. Pop Goza the Weasel. What Goza around comes around. Bump. Bump Goza the Night. Oh, I didn't get the ABV or anything on this, eh? Mm, 4.7. What do we have here? Water, barley malt, wheat malt, yeast, hops, salt, and coriander. So if you're looking to follow the the uh, purity law, this doesn't follow the purity law, technically. Uh, oh, purity of law is nothing but barley, malt, uh, sorry, uh, malt, hops, yeast, and water. So there's coriander in this, there's there's salt in this. Technically, wheat malt can be considered not following it by some tourists. So that cap is going on my uh, project, which will never get done because I don't drink enough beer anymore. I don't know, you seem to be getting through quite a bit. Uh, not enough of them have uh, Bottles? crowns that are graphic. Maybe you should make some more graphics with your own graphics. Do you like patterns? I've been getting rid of all the non graphic ones. Maybe amber, maybe. Since that last one said it was amber, and this mm -hmm. looks like it's the same color. Light amber. See, to me, that's like copper pipe. Like mm -hmm. fresh copper pipe. Nice bright white head. Almost, almost like a sour cherry note out of the bottle. Not out of the glass, though. You get the sour on the on the nose, regardless, bottle and glass. Did you try it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. not bad. No. Another sip. And you're right, though. That really isn't bad. Now I know I like gozas for the most part, so it's not like that. It's fully surprising to me that I find it not bad, but I'm sort of surprised. You seem to leak like the, the sour wheat beers, eh? We found Berliner Vices that you like, uh, Gozas you don't seem to mind. Actually, I've even liked a few stouts. Um, the IPAs I don't like. Sour. It's sour, but it's not overly sour. No. No, it's like a, a nice mild sour. If you're not used to a sour beer, this this would be it's a good... It's actually almost kind of like a ginger ale. A little more sour and not so gingery. I can see what you're talking about. That sweetness. Because it, it doesn't taste like beer. No. There's but no you beer take, taste at all. You take that sweetness, you take the light carbonation, and it's almost like... Drinking a soda. It's almost like drinking... It's almost like when you were a kid, because I think we were one of the last last generations that did this, because there's no real ginger in ginger ale. Mm. But when you were a kid, and your mom would put that, that flat ginger ale on your dresser or desk or whatever was beside you, and you'd wake up and drink that throughout the night, and supposedly it was supposed to make you better, but all it did was make you get up and pee all the time because it was full of sugar and nothing else, really. But, um, you know, she'd stir it, yeah. stir it to... Get all the fizz out, put it beside you, 
Um, the first sip you would take usually had a little bit of carbonation still in it, this does too. Uh, and it wouldn't be as sweet throughout the night because of the fact that somehow it didn't taste as sweet. But yeah, this, this has a sweetness at the forefront that reminds me of that. And then it has this bready, biscuity sourness at the end. It's almost like a, almost like sour rye. It's it's not not that because it's not spicy or anything, but it kind of reminds me of that at the end. You really don't taste the alcohol or the beer at no. all. I like Honestly, this. that could be dangerous. <laughs> yeah, get this nice and cold too, because yeah. I drink my beer room temp. Uh, get this cold and it would just slide down that throat. Like this is a dangerous beer. Out of ten, honey. I'd give it a six. Why? <laughs> you said a six? Yeah. I actually really did not mind that at all. I I would drink that if it was around. So you see me surprised here because she's never given anything over a five yet. Yeah, and nothing over a four. There's been a few fours. Everything else has been twos, threes, ones, zeros. This is a six. Six out of ten from her for the original Bitter Ghost Goza. Um, for me, probably an 8.75. I actually really like this too. It's just so refreshing. It's so... It's just so nice. Just so nice. So thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir. I'll be in toast. See you soon. Bye-bye.